Sean C., you peeled him. I wouldn't have waited. It's just Ben. Ah, uh, so you're really going to be Chapman. He is about a straightaway and a half ahead of second and third. The Durango and the Associated of Cochran and Piggott going at it. Piggott in the majority white. Cochran in the red with the yellow stickers. Through the center of the track goes that battle for the two. Chap Chapman out front in the all black. So the leader in the all black associated SC 10 4 by two spot of Sean C. No, make that Ben Piggott now. Moving up into the two spot, only one straight away behind, so Chapman's going to need to strap it up. Richard waving on Chapman here, telling him, let's get to going here. He's got that Durango truck coming up behind him here. Chapman down the straightaway, Piggott onto the straightaway. Last time around it was two and a half, this time around it's still two and a half. Cochran in the four, Benbury back up. Uh, Cochran in the three, Bembry back up to the four, Creole in the five, Panic in the six, Downey in the seven. No starts from Gravel or McMahon. Halfway done, halfway home, three and a half second lead for Chapman. Oh, it looks like a little bit less than that now as they come by the line. Less than a second apart. Chapman working through traffic. Panic's got the two behind him now. So that's first and second there, Chad. I wouldn't worry about them too much. Coming through the center of the track up the Paris Island down the back short shoot here into the S section and onto the straightaway. Go first and second. By the line, the black out front, the white in the two. Chapman gets along and ping it now to the point. Sean C trying to catch back up here. Cochran not too far back in that red truck. Ping it and Chapman get together. Chapman wait and go. So the black truck, your leader once again, Matt Chapman, your top qualifier with a 16 5 10 run. No one else. It was even close except for Wade Ben Payton, only four thousandths of a second behind in qualifying. And here they are again, locked in an epic battle, tooth and nail. Coming down the front side once again with a minute and 20 to go. Coming by the line, 11 laps in the books, five more laps to go for Payton to try and get around Chapman to hold on. Chapman in the black truck, still leading the way. Payton had the lead for just a moment there, then gave it back. It's associated with Durango as they head down that straightaway with one minute left to go now. Still four laps left to go. Chapman off the drop through the center five. Piggy goes through the five as well. Someone's going to have to do something here. Chapman's either going to have to crash or he's going to win at this point. Either that or Piggott needs to do some real fast laps. Ben's fastest in 1874 coming on that lap right there as he pulls back four tenths of a second through the five pack again. 30 seconds left to go. Oh, and Piggott spins it. So Chapman now with some comfortable breathing room. 25 seconds left to go. Chapman working on lap number 15. He's looking to go 16. Ben getting by. He's working on 15 laps. Looking at 16. We got 15 seconds left to go. Cochran coming by the line, looking to miss out on that 16 lap run. And here's Chapman down the front side by the line, starting his final lap. Here comes Piggott. We're going to start his final lap as well with three seconds on the clock. Career going to make it by, and Cochran done in the three. So your leader in that black SC10, 4x4, down the back into the chicane. And on the straightaway, Matt Chapman going to grab the TQ. And the win for the evening. Ben Piggott going to have to finish second best. Sam Cochran in the three. Bembry in the four. Carrillo in the five. Panic in the six. Downey in the seven. Ravel and